Hey guys, welcome back to your YouTube channel where we learn something new every day. And as we yesterday saw how we can use combo boxes in user form, today we are going to learn how we can use check boxes in user form. Coming up. Now, before we move on to our today's topic, if you are new on this channel and want to keep learning about VBA and become an expert in VBA, we share something new on this channel every day. So consider subscribing. Coming back to my screen now, uh, as you can see right now, we have a small table which we used uh, in our last video where we shared about all the properties of checkboxes and how you can use them in Excel. Today, we are going to see how we can use them in user form, okay? So I'll first show you what kind of user form we are trying to create here. If I just click on this, you can see I have the same names which are in the table, Andrew, Amanda, uh, Till, Robert, and these are the check boxes. So if I click on this, this means someone has completed the training or not. So this is kind of a same example that I've picked but this time this is in user form so let's uh, look at it so again uh, you have to open VBA editor by pressing alt and f11 and this is how the user form is looking right now but i'll insert a new user form by clicking on insert and then user form okay once you do that, you will get a new user form. It will have the name by default something here, which is known as caption. You can go here and change the caption, right? So I'll just change this to, uh, let's say, new training requirement, okay? So you can give any name. I'll just give a random name here. After that, as I showed you in my last video, you can add any picture here. I won't be adding the picture again. I'll just uh, focus on uh, check boxes for now. So label, uh, I've shown you in my last video how you can add them. You can just click on this A button here and you know size it accordingly. And from the font section, I'll take the uh, size how much I want of the font so I will want in this case let's say 20 right and I'll name it as a man Andrew okay that's the first name so you have to go to label caption right caption here and you can change from here just click here and delete this and let's say I give the name Andrew 1 so this way I'll get the name and row one. Right now I'll add one more checkbox here and uh, we will connect it with uh, Andrew. So let me add a checkbox which is this option. Right so you have to take this checkbox and again resize it as per your requirement. Now in this case, I don't need text, I just need a box, right? So I'll again go back to caption, right? And delete this caption because I just need a box, right? Uh, you can resize it again as per your requirement. Now, I'll first fill some color because this is looking very grayish. Uh, let's say I'll do this color, okay? So now uh, you can see I have this here and uh, I'll copy this for more names on my file, right? And the last one here. So you can change these names from here, caption. I'll quickly do that. Amanda, Charles, Sorry, uh, this is Julia and the last one is Robert, right? So this way you can name them, right? Now I'll copy the checkboxes, 
because I need five check boxes also. Right, and place them against their names. Right. Okay, uh, once you have the check boxes, now you have to connect them with these cells where you want a value to come up true or false. Right. So again, I'm using define names here because that becomes easy. Otherwise, you have to give the sheet references and all. So this becomes easy. So, right, I have given the names like Andrew 1, Amanda 2, Charles is 3, Julia is 4, and Robert is 5. So, same names where you have to give in this in the control source. So, if I just show you here, so this is checkbox 1 and its control source is here. And you have to give name here, Andrew 1, right? Similarly, you have to give the name for others. For Amanda, I'll do Amanda 2. For Charles, I'll change the control source, source to Charles 3. Julia, control source will be Julia 4. And Robert, control source would be Robert 5. Okay. So now this has become same to uh, what names I have here. As you can see, Andrew 1, Amanda 2, Charles 3, Julia 4, and Robert 5. Now uh, we have to connect this user form. So this is user form 6, right? I'll connect this to this button. You have to right click, assign macro, edit. So this is already a macro uh, which I'm going to add it. I'll write user form 6 dot show. So this will show me the user form, right? Now, as you can see, these are grayed out because I don't have true or false here. But once you have it, it will be like if you blank, then it will be like this. It won't be like gray out like this. If I just uh, zoom in for you to see the difference. Right. So this way uh, you can get it connected and user form and use it in your projects. So that's it for today's video. I hope uh, you are now able to add user form check boxes and use it for your projects let me know in comments if you have any questions hit the like button if you liked this video subscribe and hit the bell icon if you haven't done that yet i'll see you tomorrow goodbye